welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. Today we kind of have a combination Target haul and YouTube paycheck. What did I buy? So I just made, basically you have to make $100 to get your paycheck. And it used to like roll, like I won't get actually paid until towards the end of November. And it used to roll up until they cut your paycheck, like it would keep accruing. But now I've noticed they pretty much within a couple days of you hitting the 100 or it basically stops. Anyway, so I basically had $116 to spend. I made that in two months. And let me give you a couple little facts just in case you're interested. Um, September, I made $41.32. And in October, I made $75.46. Um, my number one grossing video um, in that time frame was my Stitch Fix number two in October. That did $17. My Stitch Fix Freestyle did $9.13. My Wantable in October did $8. I had a weight loss update that did $5. Uh, Costco and Amazon clothing, $4.64. Decluttering, $3.22. Anyway, those are just some kind of facts um, about the revenue. So I went to Target. And I kind of like change it up, like going to Target, walking around, going to Sephora and Ulta. And I kind of like the number of products you can get if you're at Target. Technically, I spent over, I have $153. Um, and if you do girl math, there was a $5 gift card I got because of the beauty purchases. So that's kind of like $148. So I had to go over by like $35 or so. There are a couple of things I'm kind of on the fence. Maybe I could return. And then I also tried on some while I was getting ready for tonight. So I'll be able to tell you about those. So let's dive in to what I got at Target. First up, I had decluttered my ColourPop. Target does not have my ColourPop shade. And the makeup I have now, I just feel like I'm wearing makeup. And so as I was perusing Target, I saw the Cover Girl Simply um, Essence, Simply Age Ageless Skin for Perfector Essence. This I feel like went viral, and I don't know, six months, nine months, 12 months ago, something like that, where I feel like every person was trying this out, and I'm not quite sure which brand it's duping. I wanted to say like Chanel, some like fancy brand where it's like $70 or something crazy, $50. I don't remember quite what brand, but it has little beadlets. And so it's kind of like a serum, kind of like a makeup. When people were trying it on, some people were like, the beadlets have to pop and, and it was a troublesome. It was not troublesome for me at all. I wish I would have filmed putting this on. I, 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 I will have to play around. So I put some in my hand. It is very liquidy, very serum-y. The color mix, no problem. I didn't have any capsules stuck. And I put it on with my hands. And boy, did it look funny at first. Maybe less is more. I would definitely say less is more. And I thought, oh my, it just looked like, I don't know what it looked like, but I just had a mess on my face. Um, and then I got my brush out and I kind of smoothed it around with my hands and then I got a brush out and smoothed it. And honestly, I really like it. I don't have any highlighter on or anything. And I feel like this was the perfect color. This was the light. Um, and they don't have like neutral or the pink tones or the yellow undertones. So they just have like fair light and then whatever the next ones are. I actually really like it. I don't feel it on my face. This was $15.99 at Target. And so far I like it. It's too soon to tell for sure. And I will have to practice putting it on. Next time I would probably just try dipping my brush in the product and putting it around. I don't know how that would go since it is so serum-y. Like would the brush soak up the serum? but I'm going to try. Cause I will say when you first put it on your hands, I thought, whoa, Nelly, like, is that ever going to blend out? And it, w it went pretty fast. So I am very excited to try this. I had seen it before. I thought back then it was raging in the $20 range. Anyway, very excited to try this. Another thing that I don't know if I regret or not, because this is like $10 and I'm not quite sure why. This is the NYX Super Glue and for your eyebrows. So $10, my favorite also NYX is the Control Freak. And if you go on Amazon, this is actually only like $5.99. And I really like the brush on this. I will say, I think this is a lighter hold for your eyebrows. 
And so I saw this and I don't know why, even though I really like this, I always kind of want to try something new. This is, I feel like, I feel like you get less product. This is tiny. And so the wand, or I guess you're holding it like this, the wand is also tiny. I will say this is a thicker, probably more heavy duty product. I mean, it is, does have the name glue. So it has a tiny wand, but it actually did pretty good. I don't, I didn't mind. I didn't really have to go in. I did go in with another brush, but I didn't have to. I think, I feel like you get way more for less in this. 0.3, yeah. You get double the amount of product. Now this is more expensive at the store, but on Amazon, this is cheaper and you get double the product. So I'm interested to try this out. I kind of like, given that it was 10 bucks, I'm not quite sure. I keep doing that, sorry. Uh, I'm not quite sure this is a good value. If you've had any of these products, I would definitely love to hear your thoughts on the product. So I do, that was one thing that I've changed in the last maybe year or two, eyebrows. I do them every day with a clear, and I don't know, I just feel like it opens up my face, makes me look awake. And so clear eyebrow gel, I feel like is the easiest way to make your face, I don't know if pop's the right word, but look more awake, look more alive. Then, oh, another product I have on. I've seen a lot of people just rave about this lash, no, e.l.f. lash extender. This is $7. <clears throat> so you can't really go wrong with a $7 mascara. I don't remember whether I've tried this or not. I did get soft black. I will say it took two full coats to even get it anywhere near. Um, so this is what the packaging looks like. And this is very, the wand is identical to my favorite Maybelline Slash Sensational Sky High. But, there's some buts. I do appreciate that the tube down here is very tight. So you do not get a bunch of product. I do like the wand. This absolutely does not clump. It does separate really well. I have to do two full coats. And even then, I probably could have went in to do a third coat. I only have to do one coat with this. I think this is a more subtle, natural look. If you are wanting vol vol volume or crazy, like in your face lashes, this is not it. To me, this is, you know, a clump free, does lengthen your lashes, kind of. It does separate really well. For $7, you really can't complain. But if you are wanting in your face lashes, I don't think the Lash Elf Extender is your. I don't know what a third coat would have done, but I am not a person to want to sit there in the mirror applying, applying, applying. So this is $10. This is $3. It has the exact same wand. I can get much better results with one coat. Longer, better, just more. Everything's better about my lashes. More defined, again, like longer, a, a 20 times longer. Well, that's whatever. You know what I mean? So I don't know. Like, I don't know when I feel like anymore when people rave about products, are they just getting paid to rave about the product? Do they really, really like it? I don't know. I'm a little like confused by that sometimes. Like, and maybe it's just the people I follow. Maybe they're getting paid or maybe they truly love it. And for them, it works. But here lately, I've just found like, are we sure? Are we sure? Um, my favorite lipstick uh, is a, by Context, and I'm almost out. I really don't mind buying another one, but they're one of the smaller companies where you have to order from them, and they charge shipping. And so that makes it like a $25 lipstick. So I saw this from ColourPop. So juicy. I didn't notice it was a plumping one. So it tingles. I don't think my lips are any bigger, if we're going to be honest, but I don't like the tingling thing. This is in Guava Glaze, plumping, and I, I should really read packaging. I'm just terrible at gl glossing over things. Um, plumping Gloss Balm, and this is $10. This is clearly ColourPop's dupe at, um, what's that brand? I feel like it starts with a T. I can't think of it, but you guys probably know. But it's basically their little pin, like their little clicking things that, um, click up the juicy. Why can't I think of it? I can't think of that brand, but like everybody's duped them now. And I did, I was going to do this on ColourPop because I wanted the other foundation, but then I decided just to wait until Black Friday. 
And I was looking at the color sample of pictures they gave. This is a little more magenta in person than I would like, but it's not bad. So honestly, this could be a temporary kind of fix for my context. Um, and I don't know. I, I haven't looked since I put it on. I'm not sure how well it stays since it is kind of a gloss. And I really do not like the tingling feeling. But this is a much cheaper... I know, I just... Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. It's like a maracuja lip oil thing. I can't think of the brand. Oh, well. Anyway, so I don't know. Jury's still out on this, but I will get some use out of it. I do kind of like the color overall. Uh, this was kind of a splurge. I've also seen people talk about the Osei body oil. I absolutely love body oil. This is a, um, a smaller version. And I will say smaller versions generally are a ripoff. Unless you just want to try it first and see. But generally, if you're going price per ounce, they're almost a dreadful thing. So like the full five ounce is $54. But I'm not quite sure I would ever pay $54 for a body oil, but one ounce is 16. So I thought I would just try it. I would almost go out. It's probably a very luxurious body oil. I would probably really like it, but I'm probably not going to buy full size. Very nice glass pump jar, jar container. And I've heard people say really good things about this. I love a body oil. I put it on my neck, my chest, and my arms. I love the packaging. And this has sunflower seed oil, grapefruit oil, I think passion fruit oil, all kinds of oils. So I'm very excited to have this. This is kind of a splurge. And I would say a very natural smell. So very excited for this. And again, honestly, unless you just want to try it, those minis are really a dreadful value. I will also say I was looking at Target's like holiday sets. Anymore, I feel like holiday sets aren't that great of a deal unless you like everything and just kind of want to try some things. Otherwise, buy the full size. All right, so I've been wanting some more niacinamide. I feel like I have some dark spots that need brightens. There for a while, niacinamide was in every single skincare product, and I feel like that's lessened. And so they had good molecules, the niacinamide serum. serum. And let's see, how much was this? Wow, $5.99. I feel like that's a really good deal for one ounce. I do think Good Molecule has really good prices. I had um, a different brand in my cart, but and it had like glycerin, which would have been nice. I don't think this has glycerin. Oh, actually it does. So this is nice. Oh, wait, the other one had glycerin high up and then it had licorice root, which is also good for darkening spots. But it was like triple the price. So I stuck with good molecules. I love their peptide serum. And this is a glass bottle. But I mean, I, am I crazy? Good. Nope. Good molecule, $5.99. I mean, how can you beat that? So I got this to try. 10% uh, niacinamide with zinc. Um... $5.99 glass bottle. Come on. I don't know. I like it. Very excited to try that. Oh, see, this is, this would be one thing I could return. I didn't even notice. I was just perusing and I think I spent an hour and 40 minutes at the store. I also did grocery run and all that. So I have uh, the ordinary also niacinamide with zinc and they're same percent. So I really should return one of these. What is the other ingredients? And this one definitely should go back. The good molecule has better ingredients. I'm sure the ordinary is also affordable. So I probably, but I just don't need both. How much is the ordinary? $6. So clearly absolute competitors. Um, one penny more. This one has... I think better ingredients. This has glycerin, which is very a nice moisturizer kind of. And this does not. This one is just the niacinamide. Let's see what kind of packaging we have. This is also a glass bottle. I mean, it seems silly to return something for six bucks, but I really don't need two of them. So this could go back for sure. And then I think this is going to be a bust. This Pacifica Kind Tint SPF. 
I did look at a couple reviews while I was at the store and they were mixed. I only looked at the, the top five and there were people who were like, no, no, no. And then there were some people that's like, oh, reduces redness, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> so this was $17.99. It only has a 30 FPF. It is not thin. It's not super thick. I don't think it goes on looking great. I also really don't think there's much of a tint. So, um, let's see, is it focusing? So it is basically, I think, anti white cast. To me, it kind of goes on patchy. It does, like you can just kind of, I don't know whether it's actually, you can kind of see it. It does eventually rub in. I don't know. I didn't hate it. I just applied it one time tonight. I don't, it is moisturizing. I don't know. The jury's out. I really don't think I would repurchase it. I kind of regret purchasing it, if we're going to be honest. Um, this is a mineral sunscreen vegan fermented black tea. I don't even know what that does. Jasmine and vanilla. That to me is scent, which you don't really need. Um, Allotin. I really love Allotin. I do think I saw that and was, I kind of like triglycerides. Um, looks like vitamin C, glycerin. Oh, it has peptides. So this does, that's kind of why I got it. It has really good skincare. I just don't think it's a tent. I think they should, they're putting tent. I really want it to cancel redness or I want it to add some color. And I kind of knew I was in trouble because it's not like if it truly tinted, they would have to have different shades. So the jury's still out. And I also like a 50 SPF on my face. So anyway, uh, it is a glass bottle, nice packaging. And again, good ingredients. We will see how my face likes it. We are kind of getting in the winter here in California. So I don't have to necessarily do a 50 SPF. Um, and then I should probably return one of these. I don't know. We will see. So I saw this. This is CeraVe. It says new SPF 50. And let's see how much this is. I'm thinking you do get three ounces, which is a lot, $15.89. So not a bad price for getting three ounces and it's a 50. So this could go my arm, go my face, and it is a good value because it's three ounces. So I will definitely probably keep this for my arms. I don't, I can't put regular sunscreen on or it feels yucky, <coughs> but this has really good ingredients. So it is a sunscreen. And then on top of that, it has glycerin, niacinamide, and three types of ceramides. Sodium hyaluronate. And then that's all I'm noticing. So it really is good ingredients. So I'm definitely keeping this for sure. Easy bottle to travel with. Let's squeeze some out on my other hand. Maybe. All right. So this is a little bit thinner than the other one for sure. Like the, the Pacifica is a little bit thicker, not super thick. This is a little thin. Actually, it goes on really nice. Um, I don't know why I'm showing you. Now it's like a moisturized hand. So this will definitely be useful. I'm glad they have something new because for a minute I wasn't able to find this. Um, so I like that it's 50 and so... And I also really like the good skincare ingredients. I don't really feel like I've ever heard anybody say bad things about CeraVe. And then I like Derma E. I've tried them in the past. They have them at Target. They have it at Whole Foods. Uh, they have it at Ulta. And this is the Derma E Advanced Peptides and Flora Collagen Moisturizer. If you've been here a long time and keep track of my skin scare stuff, I loved their serum for a long time until they changed the formula. This has really good ingredients, kind of on par with my Ole Erickson, the purple Ole Erickson. I'm not quite sure it's coincidental that it's the purple Ole Erickson and then the purple Derma E. Could be random, could not be. Derma E has different colored lines. This is only $34.99 and my Ole Erickson, I believe is 52. And that's kind of my substitute for my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, which my face does like better. But Ole Erickson's and this technically have better ingredients. So I'm excited to try this because if this works like my Ole Erickson, it is cheaper. 
Do you, and you get more, slightly. You get 0.3 ounces more in this. This is a full two ounces. And this is talking about anti-age. Sorry, I guess I'm talking too much. It has Matrixel 6, which I've heard about. I really don't know much about it, but this has glycerin is the number two ingredient. Uh, macadamia seed oil, triglycerides. It has one, one peptide. I was thinking it had more. It has panthenol, which is good. It has um, vitamin C, witch hazel, um, Camilla Census green tea. Green tea is great for calming. Um, jojoba seed oil, allotin, which I really like. I'm very excited for this. So I guess I'm keeping it all. Anyway, so I did go over my amount. That was all at 153. And then I found a sports bra. This is not counting in my, my whatever. So if you had just watched my once a bowl, I really could have used a sports bra and I need the traditional bra straps. Like I need it to be kind of a U in the back. I cannot do a crisscross where it gives me a headache. This was on sale. I do feel like Target is like the queen or king of like subtly putting things on sale. So this was on clearance for 11 bucks. So, and it's the softest buttery fabric. Super excited. I did try on the extra large. It did not, it could have fit, but everything was kind of smashed. And so this is the extra, extra large. Super excited. They did have matching leggings, but for the light color leggings, I just feel like it shows all the lumps and bumps and they didn't have this fabric in black. This is just the softest buttery fabric and much cheaper than those wantable prices. I really should give up my boxes, but it, like I said in some of those videos, I'm a moth to a flame. I just like getting boxes even if they seem to do me wrong. So anyway, that's my little Target haul. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. If it wasn't for you guys watching, I wouldn't get uh, little shopping sprees like this. I am very grateful. This is a fun hobby. I've been doing it now for seven years, which seems absolutely crazy. And I'm very grateful for you guys. Thank you guys so much.